Hello, I'm David Wong. I'm an entrepreneur, a martial artist, and a peak performance innovator. In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 body language signs and what they mean. If you don't have your body language managed, that means that could be a lost networking opportunity, it could be a lost friendship opportunity, or even losing a potential date. So make sure that you pay attention to this video. Number 10 on the list is eye contact. So generally, when somebody's speaking to you, you want to make eye contact with them. Now, don't stare so intently into their eyes that it scares them. So what I do is I look at their nose when somebody's talking. So what that does is that they know that you're looking at them, but you're not freaking them out. Now, when you're talking to someone, you want to make less eye contact. So don't stare at them and talk at them like this like a camera. Well, we do this in the video, but don't do this in real life. Especially if you just met the person, they may feel a little bit overwhelmed with your eye contact. So maybe you make strong eye contact at first, then you look away a little bit, and then you bring your eye contact back. So have some breaks in your eye contact. Body language sign number nine is having a strong, firm handshake. Don't do a wimpy, weak handshake. It just feels weird, makes them feel like, ew, like that. What message do people get when you give them a strong handshake? It shows them that you are actually physically strong and mentally strong too. It makes the other person feel that you're confident, that you're solid, and that they can trust you. So just practice it, right? Practice with a friend. Go and shake their hand and get feedback from them and ask them how they feel about it. Body language sign number eight is standing still. Don't fidget with stuff, like especially like your phone. Don't move around, don't turn around, don't turn your body. Stand still, because when you're standing still, you're balanced. And what that means is that you're either mentally balanced or physically balanced. That means that they can count on you, they can lean on you because you have balance. And you're like a rock, you're solid, you're not moving around, and you're here to stay. Number seven on the list is smiling too much. Have you ever met someone that just doesn't stop smiling? They just have this perma smile on them all the time and then they talk through their teeth like this. Okay, so that's kind of weird, especially when that looks really fake and it's not genuine, people can pick that out easily. So the point is smile appropriately and smile genuinely. So when you're happy, a genuine smile usually uses the eyes. You smile with the eyes too. See, my eyes are smiling right now. Smile with the ears. See, I'm smiling with my ears and you, you know, show your teeth and just be natural about it. Practice in front of the mirror and see if your smile is genuine. Number six, hey, why do you want to learn body language signs? It's because you want to meet that girl, you want to impress her, or it's because you're running a business and you want to make a good impression towards your clients or your customers, or you just want to improve yourself, become a more effective person and to actualize your full potential. If that's you, then I want to invite you personally to my free event, it's called Chi Life Mastery. Go to chilifemastery.com. And I'm gonna show you some important secrets that I learned about body language, even how to read people, and how to present yourself so that you become the best that you can be and actualize your full potential. So I'll see you there at my free event. Number six, holding your head still while they speak. I don't know, like some people that you see on YouTube, they kind of talk like this, they move their head around, they look at all different directions. So that gives you the impression that they're not centered. Okay, so you want to give people an impression that you are centered, you're solid, you are there, you're present, you're there to make a difference, what you're saying is important right now, then don't move your head and don't move your body around too much either. Body language sign number five is crossing your arms. When you cross your arms, what happens is that it shows a lack of confidence or it shows that you are hiding something. You're hiding your heart. You're hiding your center. So if you want to express something, if you want to get your emotions across and your feelings, then you want to open up your heart, don't cross your arms, let it open up. And people will start to feel your expressions, people will start to get you more, feel you more. A lot of people slouch like this on the chair when they're at the meeting. What does this tell people? That means you're probably tired and you look lazy and lethargic and you're low energy, right? Okay? Even my voice is low energy when I start slouching like this. Another way to slouch is slouching forward, right? You can slouch forward. Also another form of low energy. Probably not really interested in what I'm saying right now or he's really not interested in what is happening at the moment. So sit up straight, make your spine straight, make your head tall, 
What does that do? That gives people confidence because it feels that you have more energy and feels that you are more alert and it gives you more confidence. Number three on the list is to avoid inconsistency. Number three. This is number three. And you should listen to my say. <laughs> and don't do this. Don't do this. Okay. Yes, this is right. Okay, so those are inconsistent body languages. What you're doing in your body is different from what you're actually saying. So make sure that your body language is actually matching up to what you're saying. Body language sign number two is to lean forward. What happens when somebody leans forward? That means that they start to be interested in what you're saying. And it makes you interested in what they're saying too. So there's a difference between leaning forward and slouching forward. Slouching forward is kind of like this. See how my spine is bent? So you don't want to slouch forward, but you want to lean forward. Keep your spine straight. Keep your head tall and lean forward on the table, just like this. Slow and deliberate movement. That's a really good body language sign that you are in control. You are literally in control of your movements, of your body. And if you practice Tai Chi, you learn how to move your body in a very gentle and slow, controlled manner. And when you do that, what impression does that give to people? It makes people feel that you have good control of your body and also good control of your mind. It lets people know that, hey, here's the guy that's in charge. Or here, here's the guy. He's probably the guy we should talk to. So you want to have that alpha male, that leader, alpha female mentality or mindset that just attracts to people and people say, look at you and they say, oh, that's the, that's the guy to follow. Then learn to have slow and deliberate movements. So I'm David Wong from the David Wong Entrepreneur Show. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, click the like button. Make sure you comment below and let me know what else you want to learn on this channel. Until next time, use the chi and prosper.